Hey Gator Artists, today I'm going to show you how to make a fun robot collage. Let's talk about what supplies we're going to need. You're going to need paper. It can be whatever color you want. I've got a piece of black for my background. And then I have a few different colors of scraps that I just had around. You're also going to need scissors, glue, and a marker so that we can add some details when we're done. The first thing you want to do is choose a color for the body of your robot. I'm going to make my robot yellow and cut the shape you want your body to be which this could be the body. It's a nice size, but I'm going to cut it a little smaller. I'm going to keep my scrap paper close by in case I want to use it again later. When you're happy with the size, go ahead and glue it down right in the middle. Then you can start adding details. I think my robot would have some red arms and legs. So I'm going to make those. And here's a trick if you need to make something half, you can fold the paper before you cut it. And now I have two legs. And two arms. I can go ahead and glue those down if I'm happy with them, which I am. I hope you really enjoyed our robot song. It's one of my favorite songs. I would love to have a friend that was a robot. Okay, once you get your arms and your legs on, then you can decide if your robot's going to have a neck or if its head is just going to stick straight off its body. I'm going to put a little neck on mine. Like that. And now I can give my robot a head. I think my robot would have a pink head. There's lots of squares and rectangles in these robots. There we go. Okay, once you get to this point, then you get to really have fun. You can decide what kinds of hands and feet, buttons, lights, all sorts of gizmos that could be sticking off of your robot. I'm going to put some hands and feet. I like to keep my feet simple and just do rectangles. Like this. But for my hands, I want to be a little more adventurous. So let me show you a way to make some little U-shaped hands. I'm going to take a rectangle and then I'm going to cut in, turn it, cut across, and then turn it again. And now I have like a C or a U kind of shape. And I can put a little dot of glue and give my robot a hand. I need to do that one more time. Nip, snap. Nice little hand for my robot. There we go. I could do all sorts of things. Maybe 
my robot has some joints connecting it. I could put little spots right here to show where his leg would bend. I want you to really take your time and think about all the things you might have on a robot. What is your robot doing? Does it help you around your house? Is it a robot that plays games with you? Maybe your robot helps keep your room clean. I think if I had a robot, it would cook dinner for me every day. It's not my favorite time of day. And then, when you're done gluing pieces onto your robot, you can use your marker to add details. I'm going to glue a mouth on there. I think my robot would have a mouth. That looks pretty good. Like this, and maybe some little eyes. There we go. And I think the last thing I'm going to do is add some light sticking off the side of my robot. Almost like ears. Like that. And like that. Now, once you're done gluing, then you're going to take your marker and you're going to draw whatever kinds of details you want. So I could finish out my robot's eyes with my marker. Now my glue is not dry yet, so i got to hold my pieces extra still while I'm working. I could add a little to his mouth, make him look a little happier. I think this would be a light. So I'm going to put the rest of my light in here. Some curly little doodads. That's called a filament on a light bulb. Now you might want to wait for your work to dry before you do that. I think this part would be springy, so I'm going to put some lines on it to show that it would bend. Like that. Maybe there's a swirl up here. Maybe he's a fancy robot. Take your time and have fun decorating your robot. When you're finished, send me a picture on Canvas so that I can put in your grade for your artwork. I hope you're having a great time at home. We miss seeing you, but I love that everyone is staying safe. Happy creating. Have a great Gator Day.